Hello everyone, Ryan here again. I'm doing another tag video and I was recently tagged by the book bat. I believe her name is Nash. She also goes by the name Nash. And she tagged me to do the five quotes tag. And all that involves is picking five favorite book quotes and then just kind of talking about them a little bit. So I went ahead and did that, wrote down five of my favorite quotes. Uh, it was a little hard to narrow, narrow them down to five, but uh, I just did it. I just, really, I chose that random, but they also happen to be from books that, that I've read and that I'm familiar with, so here we go. Number one, first quote I picked is, uh, maybe everybody in the whole damn world is scared of each other. And that's from Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. And if you're not familiar with Of Mice and Men or with the works of John Steinbeck, I definitely recommend you look him up, check out his work, especially Of Mice and Men. I definitely recommend that. It's very heartfelt and I've talked about it in a couple other videos as well, so it's definitely uh, worth reading. And as far as this quote goes, I mean, I like, I like just, I just like the fact that it's very honest. And so yeah. So quote number two. Uh, Life is to be lived, not controlled, and humanity is won by continuing to play in face of certain defeat. And that quote is from Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. And I read this book uh, quite some time ago. I really liked it. Uh, there's just so much so much about it that I really liked. And uh, even to this day, I, I still remember a lot from it. And even though I've kind of toyed with the idea of reviewing it, and there's, there's so many layers to it. Uh, but this quote alone, um, it, it almost sums up what the book is about, but not entirely, because it deals a lot with human rights, civil rights, uh, individuality, uh, so many things that should be important to society. So There's another book, too, that I recommend reading if you haven't already read, Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. So, quote number three, uh, the only people for me are the mad ones, the ones who are mad to live, mad to talk, mad to be saved, desirous of everything at the same time, the ones who never yawn or say a commonplace thing, but burn, 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 like fabulous yellow Roman candles exploding like spiders across the stars. And that quote is from On the Road by Jack Kerouac. And it's another one of my favorites, another one of my favorite authors, Jack Kerouac. On the road. If you haven't read that one, I definitely recommend reading that one. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely even though Kerouac was considered to be kind of a, a I guess you could call him a beatnik writer or beat. He was a kind of part of that whole beatnik movement, and but not entirely. Uh, but yeah, just I like that quote because of the fact that pretty much throughout the book, on the road. It's just about embracing life, embracing each moment, and not being afraid to, to, you know, just put yourself out there and give it your all. So, uh, Quote number four, it sounds plausible enough tonight, but wait until tomorrow. Wait for the common sense of the morning. And that quote is from The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. Another one of my favorite books, another one of my favorite authors. Again, if you haven't read The Time Machine either, I do recommend it. Uh, but yeah, and I like this quote because it reminds me that, you know, it's not a bad thing to wait for common sense to kick in. And, you know, because for some people, they need, they need a while, they need a certain amount of time to pass before common sense kicks in. And also, too, you often hear people say uh, to sleep on it or, you know, things look 
better or clearer in the morning. So that's what this quote reminds me of. So the last quote, quote number five, uh, history, Stephen said, is a nightmare from which I am trying to awake. And that quote is from Ulysses by James Joyce. James Joyce is another one of my favorite authors. And even though I read about half of Ulysses, and if you're not familiar with Ulysses or even read anything about it, or it's it's a pretty dense work. It's it's very multi-layered, uh, complex. Uh, of course, James Joyce wrote it in the stream of consciousness style, and it's, it's very fluid. I mean, from even though I didn't read the whole thing, I've yet to read the whole thing, but with the parts that I did read, it seemed very fluid and just flowed nicely. I mean, I don't know, I liked it, even though I can understand why a lot of people don't consider it to be their cup of tea, but I definitely re I recommend it if, you know, you, you just really want to read something different away from the norm, so... Yeah, there you go. Those are the five quotes I chose. And I don't know who to tag for this. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead. I'll tag. Uh, there's a, there's a, a new uh, booktuber I recently found out about. I believe her name is, I want to say, Montezumama or Montezuma Mama. Montezuma Mama. Uh, she's also, also happens to be a, a writer. So I'm going to tag her. Hopefully I got the name, her channel name right. Of course I'll provide a link to her channel. So I'm going to tag her. And I don't know who else should I tag. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, I guess I'll tag, I'll also tag uh, Roya from Roya Eve Reads. And I'll tag uh, Lori from Lori's Euphoria. And I'll also tag uh, Jess of Rebel Reads, if you haven't already done this one. If you have, then that's cool. Just ignore the, the, the fact that I tagged you. But yeah, so that'll do it for this video. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I definitely appreciate everybody who subscribed so far. And until next time, keep it real. Keep on rocking. Peace.